The alt-left will lose to the alt-right, at least in the short term. I guarantee you. It does not matter how much the media spins things in favor of, well, I'm going to stop completely using the alt-left title I rejected in its entirety. I used it only for clickbait, sorry. The progressives have always been this way. Uh, progressives have no moral high ground, and this is why they will lose. The progressives have always been openly racist, proudly racist, in exactly the same fashion as the alt-right. They hate white people purely for the fact of being white. They think every single sin that has ever been committed in the history of the world is because of white people. Not because of imperialists, but because of white people. Forget that there's been Asian, black, and every color under the sun of imperialists. From the, the Aztecs of South America, to the fucking Chinese, to the Japanese, to the Mongolians, to the fucking... Um, the Indians and the Arabs, there's always been imperialists. But when you hear imperialists, what do the progressives say? White people. White people are imperialism. They are synonymous. So they're racists. And that's just one of the many sins that they lay at the feet of the white race because they're racial identitarians. Meanwhile, the alt-right is the same thing. Only they say everything good that's ever happened in the history has been because of white people and the things that are holding us back are because of everybody who's not white racial identitarians they're exactly the same here is why the left the progressives will lose this racial identitarian battle and it's all optics firstly the alt-right has responded to the left with violence the left has been the one to start it in every riot so far from the race riots of, of ferguson and Baltimore and Philadelphia to the fucking, uh, all, th all the battles of Berkeley, so to speak, were all started by the left, and the violence was initiated in Charlottesville by the left. It is true that the right uh, committed more heinous violence simply because there was a fatality, but the brutality was equal on both sides and initiated by the counter-protesters Red Antifa, who are communists, Anybody who's for a free and democratic egalitarian society should reject both of these groups, by the way. But the reason why the left will lose is because they are hysterical. Because they can't look good. All they have is mindless slogans and lies that aren't even particularly crafty. Just in-your-face lies. Like, shameless with a smile a la Smugglypuff. I didn't see nothing, officer. And... Anybody looking into this who's not already a progressive identitarian will go, uh, the fucking left are scum. And some of these people could be persuaded that the alt-right are in fact correct and should be joined because the alt-right speaks eloquently and gives speeches and uses big words and, uh, and has the advantage of the fact that the progressives are absolutely racist and absolutely do hate and wish to s diminish and destroy and persecute and, and be prejudiced and fucking discriminatory towards whites in every way they can. They are racist in the same way that the alt-right are racist. But the alt-right continues to look and sound better, even though there's Nazis running around doing crazy shit. Even though there's fighting in the streets. If you look at a speech given by an alt-right guy, they make more sense. In comparison, neither of these groups make sense in reality, but the fact that the left are clearly shrieking madmen when it comes to the progressives in this fucking dichotomy, and the alt-right are capable of feigning being reasonable, the left will lose. They will. I guarantee it. There will be more and more alt-right people and more and more Nazis over the next couple of years because the left is so savage and barbaric and exactly like them, but incapable of mimicking their their false air of civility and domestication and, and intelligence. The left can't even, the progressive left can't even be pretend to be sane. Meanwhile, the alt-left, or excuse me, the alt-right, while being crazy, can feign eloquence very well. They're incredibly persuasive and this is why they're popular. However, it's not just their ability to form coherent, if arguments that are wrong, but coherent. 
it's because the progressive left is so fucking crazy and monstrous and evil that these other evil people can come in and be all Machiavellian in their suits and ties and look great in comparison to the shrieking hipsters. You are losing. And it's your fault. It's all the left's fault. Period.